Hello and welcome to This Old Geek. I found this wonderful book on eBay and purchased it. I've always been a fan of Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. I was mostly a fan of the uh, movies. I've never read the book, but I always wanted to read it, so I went and purchased this book. And I just love it. It has all these wonderful uh, uh, illustrations in here. And uh, this book is the inspiration, or the story of Alice in Wonderland is the inspiration for my next few projects. Uh, I'm going to do an Alice in Wonderland and do other characters uh, from Alice's Adventures in Wonderland as marionettes. Now these are going to be based mostly on from the book than the movies. To start out with, I'm using another book that inspired me, The Complete Book of Marionettes by Mabel and Wes Beaton, and as I used in uh, a couple other projects, I am going to use some of their techniques to make a paper mache head. Now I'm going to do the clay head here, and do paper mache, just mold it from the clay, I'm following the instructions that they have in the book here. But I'm going to do some variations of my own. I am going to add some paper clay to the head after I get it reassembled after taking the clay out. And that's what I'm going to show you here in this video. I start out with an egg-shaped ball, if you will, of plasticine clay, which is just oil-based clay. It doesn't harden. I'm marking here where I want the eyes, nose, and the mouth. Now this is like, I'm using about a pound of clay here to make the head. And here I'm cutting out gouges for the eyes, about a half an inch deep near the nose. And then I am going to pinch the center to form, start forming the nose. And start using some of my sculpting tools. Here I am putting in almond shaped uh, pieces of the clay for the eyes and I'm filling in the mouth a little bit. Start filling in the lips and the chin and filling in the features. Just keep working it until I get it the way I want it. Now I'm not going to be wrapping foil on this like I do in my other ones. I'm just going to put the paper mache right on it. So I want, uh, I want this to look as close to what I want before I start putting the paper mache on. So I am adding details, in other words. I'm putting on a substantial neck there. Now here I am uh, paper macheing. This is paper towel. I'm just using paper toweling on this instead of newspaper. And this paper toweling is, is textured, but that's okay because I'm going to wind up covering uh, it with uh, some Sculpey air dry clay, which does not show that in the Mabel and Wes Beaten book. They just, you know, they just do it the way it was. They just put the paper mache right over the uh, the clay and just do it as it was, without adding anything else to it. Now I just cut the back of the head out. And I got to scoop the uh, <clears throat> clay out, which is kind of tough. I mean, if you've ever tried to scoop out ice cream fresh from the freezer, it's pretty much like that. Now, this is a dowel, piece of dowel that I cut. It's a one-inch dowel. And I put an ice screw in there, and I'm going to glue some uh, paper toweling around it to get the right thickness. And I am going to glue it inside the neck of the head there. It's sticking out just a little bit. Now this does show this, it showed the neck, how to do the neck, and it shows this in the book too, where you take a button and you tie one end of your string. Now this is the string that I'm going to use to uh, string up the puppet head when I do the control. Now you just pull, I, you see me just thread it through with a needle, that was like a sewing machine needle I used, and you glue the uh, button inside the head there. Or the ear where you want it. So after I get the head strings in, I stuff uh, some paper toweling in the back of the head and 
just fill it up with that and then I glue the back of the head on and now I'm doing the features with uh, Sculpey air dry clay working in more details because the details didn't really show up the way it was before I mean they didn't do this in the book but this is how I'm doing it I just needed to make it look the way I wanted it to and I am painting on some acrylic gesso which is a primer. I do that to all my projects. Paint the entire head with it. Now in the book, the Mabel and Les Beaton book, they do things quite a bit different. I'm just pretty much using some of their techniques and just doing it my own way here. Now they use oil paint to paint their head and they paint the head before they take the clay out. But, you know, I wanted to uh, add my features I wanted to make more detail on mine with the with the air dry sculpey clay so that's why I did it afterwards they also used oil paint I am using uh, of course acrylic paint which is water based I'm doing the eyes here I got the lips and the eyes wait for each part to dry before I add Something else to it, another part to it. Okay, the pupil and the irises, or irises and the pupil. Do the brows. When all that dries, I just, I'm painting on some uh, Mod Podge. This is, I really love this stuff. This is great. It's a combination glue, uh, uh, sealer, and finisher. I'm letting it dry here, hanging it up in there. Now I didn't really know how I was going to do the hair, so I bought this wig, which is a child size wig. And I'm just cutting pieces off the wig here, and I'm going to glue it to the head. And coincidentally, the uh, wig was a child size uh, Alice in Wonderland wig, which I thought was pretty neat. I just needed to get the right color. So here, uh, this, I'm using Mod Podge here because it works as a glue as well. And just glue that right onto the head like that. And I glue my little blue bow on there. And there's my Alice in Wonderland puppet head. I'm going to make other puppet heads of characters uh, from Alice in Wonderland. And when I'm done making the heads, I will start making the bodies. And so you have other videos to look forward to as far as that goes. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And have a great day.